In this segment, we're going to learn how to color comics using the fill tool in Photoshop. Here I've got a comic already opened, and the easiest way to, to really work with a, a comic, you know, first you want to scan it and bring it into Photoshop like this, but we want to also separate it from the background. Um, and luckily enough, this one's set up in a way that that's going to be very easy to do. Um, using the magic wand, well this magic wand, the white background, and we actually don't want it, the background really selected, we want the inverse of that. So to do that, we go to select inverse, and now just our character is selected on the background layer, and we can cut him from the background layer. You'll see a little ghosting because it doesn't catch everything and then we'll paste it. And now if we turn off the background layer you'll see he is just sort of floating around inside our layer. So um, what that does is we can <clears throat> change the background to anything we want. If I want to create some depth perhaps, uh, let's switch to the gradient tool, switch to black and white, and with the background layer selected uh, holding down the shift key here, I'm just going to draw a simple gradient and uh, kind of adjust it. You know, adjusting the length of the gradient here to uh, the desired effect. And if we didn't want a gradient, we could also undo that using our history palette. And if I wanted it to be on a green background, I'll just fill that back out. Oh, it's the wrong layer. <laughs> Always keep an eye on what layer you're on. Uh, switch the background layer and fill that. So we've effectively separated our character from the background. And uh, if we want to give him a little space, we'll go to Image, Canvas Size, and just increase that, let's say 800 by 850. And it's not going to give us that green, so we have to fill it in again. Now we've got a bit more space. If we use the Move tool, we can, we can see we've got a bit more space to work with. And you can still see that shadow's there. We'll switch back to the background layer and just keep filling until that shadow goes away. Switch back to your character layer, your Move tool, and there, he's, there he is. Um, for simple things like just changing the color of his shirt, switch to the paint bucket again, and say we want a, uh, a blue shirt pick out the color that we'd like to work with, hit OK, and just click once. Now he's got a blue shirt. Um, and that's because there's basically a solid line all the way around there. Um, if there's a break in anything, um, you'll know right away because it'll fill into areas you didn't expect. And if that happens, you just got to zoom in and close off the area that it's spilling into. Um, should you want to capture a couple things, like um, if we wanted to change his jacket color, we can use the magic wand for that, um, <clears throat> and holding down the shift key, you can see that little plus sign shows up. That's actually going to add to our selection, and so we can just focus on his jacket, then switch to the paint bucket tool, and let's give him a stylish light green jacket. Just fill that in and then go to select, deselect and we've got our colored comic.